shabby. It's a shabby. So Cloud Kingdom, let's talk about this as far as the map goes. After the player introductions, DJ Huit, take it away. Let's introduce these dudes in the northeast position as the Red Zerg. This guy, this young kid, showing a lot of potential, winning his first championship last year and uh, looking for another one here. It is life. And in the southwest position as the Blue Protoss. This guy has been a staple of the StarCraft II North American community for quite some time. He uh, was part of Root, left Root, came back to Root. Give yep. it up for Root, minigun. Fun fact about Root members, they've actually all left and rejoined several times. True. So the, uh, the team did make its first appearance and then zombied it, zombied it back, came back. Cats, however, on this run is doing a fantastic job. They're very stable, a lot of sponsors. North American, like you said. So if you guys yep. uh, haven't heard of them, check them out. That's for damn sure. They've got good streams. They're going to compete in all the tournaments they can. And as we can see here, Minigun qualifying for this prestigious tournament and doing quite well. To just, 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 just to get here is a big deal. Um, let's okay. see how he does against life. But talking about Cloud Kingdom a little bit, this is one of the. This is like a daybreak. This is a map you've seen a lot of PVZ on. This has been around for a while, and while some of you might mark that as a kind of like a, a comment against the map, eh, I'm tired of it. I'm bored of it. One of the things you would say about this map is that it's it's very good in terms of balance. It's very fair, and it makes for exciting games from time to time. I, I would agree with you. And, you know, I mean, in the traditional uh, history of gaming, like, this has been the case. I mean, you think about yeah. Counter-Strike. Think about, you know, Quake and how many, you know, we never got new maps, man. Right. Like, we never, we play, even in even in Brood War, you guys would play the legacy maps yep. for, for quite some time. Um, so I'm okay with that. You know, yeah. obviously, if we're sitting here playing Steps of War still today, Someone there's problems, Someone right? There's yeah. problems. But if a, if a map sort of shows itself to be worthy in the competitive leagues, yeah. then I don't see any reason why to, to necessarily change that up. I very much so agree with you. Um, I mean, there's obviously arguments to be made for map diversity, and that is, of, of course, course, very good. But in that map diversity, if you can find a couple maps that kind of draw the string through the course of time, that's pretty good as well. Um, we do have that second pylon going down as part of the wall in for Minigun. That's a very typical wall in. He's actually going to go ahead and pull the probe back, maybe even add a gateway and then add the cannon. That's the real, yes, I like this. So you can see links are already out, but of course with the opening, we don't see like eight links or six links making a beeline over here. Um, worst case scenario, he has to drop a pylon temporarily just to wall in and make sure that there's no annoying links to come in and harry his mineral lines. But this probe's going to let him know exactly when they're going to get over there. Still live, said probe is, by the way. And it's not going to delay the third hatchery, as that does just now go down at 21 supply for the Zerg player. But it's going to be able to scout that and know he's not getting cheesed. So we are going to see life opening up with what we have sort of come to know as a very traditional three hatchery opening that uh, was certainly still prominent uh, at the end of, of Wings of Liberty. Those links did get through. Yeah. Uh, two links, however, inside the main base. It seems really exciting until you realize that these probes can pretty much take care of business. And that's exactly what will happen. It's more of an annoyance, takes away some of that attention. This probe comes up and notices the third base is down. One thing I wanted to say is that Leenok went completely against the standard ZVP metagame yesterday by pretty much staying on two bases for a majority of the time. He got that gas early. Yeah. He would even get overlords. He would go speed and then overlord speed. And granted, it was based off of the build that he was reacting to, so that changes things. But I'm just, I just wonder if we're going to see that more often through this event. But in this game, yeah. not the case. No gas is taken yet. This is still very reminiscent of what we are used to seeing. You're exactly right. I mean, this is the Wings of Liberty ZVP opener that is uh, very, very, very common, very dominant in that in that time. Um, at 41 supply, we see the first gas going down. I'm sure that'll be joined by a second and a third or perhaps just the two, but you can see them going down at the natural. This is, of course, to hide its numbers if you scout the natural, which is far and away more likely to be scouted than, say, the main base. You'll look at that and say, well, there's two gases here. Who knows if that's the there two could be four. or a third and four, yeah. exactly, which, of course, changes things. But to your point, Leenok went with the early gas, and I got to say, I feel like that's the more modern approach, and I feel like that's the future of ZVP because... Mama Core plus a couple of Zealots and any kind of gateway timing behind that is super strong. And if you don't have gas, you're just supposed to get out those early lanes or speed OV to see it coming. Um, then you're kind of playing a little bit of a game of roulette. Um, and, and just slow lane queen is not what it used to be with that Mama Core out there. 
Now the Mamacore going out along with this Stalker and Zealot. And yeah. this is a common attack here on the third base. Right now, Queen, no creep uh, connecting these two. No. So a Queen could indeed go down here. The Zerglings are currently working on that third Nexus with mm -hmm. nothing there to support. In fact, that's going to prompt, I thought, the return. But no, that's not the case. Just the Stalker's going to come down. Should I say this? But the cancellation was made. Yeah, Minigun's being a little bit uh, indecisive. He actually decided he might want to come back, but is now not doing that, obviously. He does get the Queen, so it's a 100 mineral cancellation on that Nexus versus 150 mineral investment of that Queen. But you can make arguments on both sides for which is worth more, just because obviously the faster Nexus is super strong, but then having your Queen going with the Injects is uh, quite good as well and getting more energy for Tumors, that kind of a thing. But Minigun's just going to go ahead and put down that Nexus again. And we saw this from Baby Knight. It was a uh, Stargate opener into one gate expand, essentially. Well, one gate double expand. Right. But no Stargate here, just gateways. And a robo. That's right. And Zergling's still trying to control some space out here. While Minigun continues to uh, try to get this harassment down, Creep's still not connecting these two. Some roaches out now for life. But life has uh, pretty much been droning up to 51 drones. Now he's massing yeah. these Zerglings to come out. Speed is now complete. And we've got a big attack force heading down from life. This is a reactionary thing. He's saying, I don't want you to take that fast of a third. I'm going to make Speedlings and Roach just off of Hatch Tech. Laird just, uh, just now going down. But these Stalkers getting pinned and ran down. Two do die. One takes a nice position. But there's only so much it can do in that position. This base is just going to have to be forfeit. But at what cost? Yes, I know what I just said. The Mama Corps is out in the middle trying to sprinkle down damage on those roaches, oh, but there's goodness. a lot of roaches coming over here. Yeah, big, big attack coming out uh, here from Life. He's going to take out that pylon. He works on that cannon. No, he's going to instantly go with the forge and open up a door for these units to just swarm into the natural. Yeah. And there it is, GG.